Joaquin Rodrigo, Concierto de Aranjuez. Welcome to this brand new series. Welcome to 24 Next Chords and New Ideas. Welcome back to F sharp 7, four times, one ball. And then we're into the next phrase. So again, there is a melody that comes in in bar 23, you are supporting that melody. You've got to know your, um, your connection between the orchestra and yourself, super important. We are up at 12, 4, 2, to D sharp. Then you're going to take the C sharp at, at 14, pull off again. And then it is one, two, shift up, shift down, and back onto the F sharp. That is one entire phrase, and you're going to have to just work on that. From this point, I've already covered this in a previous bonus video, so you can have a look at the link below. It is literally all plucked, and then hammer on three, four, two, three, four. nine times. That is probably the most difficult one, especially if you don't have a cutaway guitar. Stay in position for this. Then, next bit, it's 2-4. I use a pull-off film. And into a single E note, which deviates at bar 28 for, from the score, because the score actually wants this huge chord. Williams cuts it out, and rightly so, because that's just crazy, especially after all of this. 29, you bounce back down to an E7 chord, nice and simple, three times, before you're into the next phrase. You will need to practice that on its own. I'll go into rhythms in the second half of this, as usual. Welcome to the next phrase. So the next phrase is a little bit more complicated. You need to set the two at 10 for your D. Half bar at eight, pull off quick. Okay, again, I've stolen this from uh, John Williams. It, his fingering is superb. You take the B on at 12, pull off again. And then it again, it is one, two, up, one, two, four, and down. to get you in position. So again, back onto the E, and then it's played. Three, four, hammer on. Nine times. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna give you Williams and then my own. It's down to ninth position, two, four. John Williams does half bar to get into that new D minor chord. So I just float down with my two, back up. The choice is yours. So again, you're gonna have to practice those two phrases on their own. There is tons to do there. If your trills are not up to it, your third, third and fourth fingers in particular, I've already done a video to help you practice those. Okay, quick chat about rhythms again. I'm not gonna go over it, but you need to know where your main beats are. This time, there is no bass below you, it is just strings. So you are gonna have to be on time and obviously follow uh, the main beats of the strings this time. So there's no constant pulse. Super important tying in your part to the rest of the orchestra score. So fast, reduce the complexity, take a bar line off. Slow, triplet, fast. Right, this I've already done. You've just got to count from the F sharps and on the beat. So you literally, this first one, main beat, two, three, four, five, six, main beat, eight, nine, main beat. And then before the next bars, main beat, back in with the orchestra. So you need to know, be very, very clear about how many beats you're trying to fit in. One other thing that I need to point out, there are some mistakes with the rhythms in the score. I know because I have tried to put them, and I have know because I've tried to write them out into Sibelius, they don't always work. There is a book somewhere, I will try and hunt it down and pop a link up now, that actually has documented all of the errors. There are errors in the score, 
be aware of it. The next video in the series is going to pop along just about now. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. This has been brought to you by my baby, ClassicalGuitarRocks.com, the home of six-string inspiration.